Here are your drinks, ma'am. Awesome. You can put the drink down. I will take this. Keep these coming. Wow. Starting off this dinner with shots. Rough day. So what do you do for a living, Natalie? Oh, I'm an accountant. An accountant or an accountant? <laughs> like a CPA. This is a very busy time of year for me. Well, at least you're busy. Tristan made that comment the other day. What exactly is the difference between the two? Oh wait, you really don't know the difference? It means CPA or spicy dancer, exotic dancer. I cannot believe that my son knows that terminology. And I can't believe you didn't know that terminology, yet here we are. I feel like meeting your kids is going to be interesting. Um, I think the kids are still trying to process everything. I feel like they've been warming up enough to meet Natalie. No. Okay, Liv, I want your honest opinion. What did you think of Natalie? She's, um... Well, I'm really glad that you two get along. You really don't like her? I wouldn't necessarily say that I don't like her. I don't really know her, but the first impression wasn't that great. First impressions? You were the one doing shots at the table. I walked up and she thought I was the waitress. It was an honest mistake, Liv. And okay, are you sure that you're just not jealous? I mean, she's my new sister. I promise she's not replacing you. Oh my God, are you serious right now? No. I would completely understand, it's okay. Karen, I'm not jealous, I'm just not a fan of her. Well, I think you're wrong. I also think it's too soon for the kids to meet her. Again, I disagree. There you two are. Amelia, are you planning on being home for your brother's birthday on Friday? Actually, I wanted to see if my friend Amanda could stay the night. I don't see why not. Your brother says he's only gonna be home for a little bit. Your, your friend Amanda and chocolate cupcakes? Yeah, I'll be here Friday. What, do you like her or something? I, I mean, she seems cool. Probably one of the few friends you have that is cool. <laughs> Whatever. Tristan, sweetie, are you sure that you don't want to throw a party and invite some of your friends and family over? Mom, I'm turning 18, not 8. I just want to keep it low-key. Okay, well, what are you and your friends planning on doing? I think we're just going to go to dinner and then go see the Batman movie. Okay, well, don't do anything stupid. Mom, Dad has already given me the whole spiel that he's a cop, and if I do anything stupid, he'll know. Mm -hmm. At least your father's good for something. Mom! I'm sorry, you're right. That was rude. Hey, Natalie, what's up? I've had a rough day. Do you want to grab a drink? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, but I can't go out right now. I'm making my cupcakes for my son's birthday. Oh, I totally understand. Yeah. You know what? Why don't you come on over here? You just have to leave before he comes home. Really? Yeah, of course. Okay. Okay. Oh, there she is. Hey, girl. Went on ahead and brought you a seltzer. You are the best. Your house is so cute. Yeah, let me give you a tour. Your living room decor is adorable. Oh, are these photos of your kids? They are. Oh my goodness, your daughter looks just like you. And so does your son. But he looks kind of familiar. Really? Maybe it's just because he looks like me. Mm, maybe. How's your baking going? So good. Follow me into the kitchen. I swear I know him. Ooh, on to champagne. Thank you. Of course, I can only imagine the obnoxious people you deal with at work. Mm, thank you for letting me come over. I needed this. It's no big deal. We're family. Hey, mom. <gasps> Is it that time already? Ooh, those cupcakes smell. Oh, hi. Uh, I didn't know we had company. Oh, sorry, sweetie. This is Natalie, your aunt. I am so sorry. I invited her over. She was having a rough day and we lost track of time. Uh, hi. Uh, excuse me for just a second. Tristan, don't come home yet. If you're worried about me talking to Amanda. That's, n no, Amanda's not even here yet. Uh, but you know who is? Natalie. Wait, what? Yes, Natalie is here. After I told Mama I didn't want to see her? I'm telling you, if you don't want to see her, do not come. I can't believe this. I'm coming home later tonight, then. Okay. Is everything okay, Amelia? Uh, something like that. Well, where is your brother? I don't know, Mom. We didn't ride together. Amelia, it's been over half an hour and your brother's not home. Is he okay? What's going on? Uh, it looks like he had a surprise by his friends, so they had to go straight after school. Well, that's unacceptable. He said he's going to come home and have cupcakes with me. The woman that birthed him 18 years ago? I don't know what to tell you, Mom. Well, this is just unacceptable. I'm calling him. 
Hello? Um, yeah. Where are you? Oh, my friend surprised me with something. Okay. Did you forget that you had plans to come home and spend time with a woman that birthed you? Stop with that. Also, I know Natalie's there. Oh. Um, well, she was leaving. We lost track of time. Yeah, whatever, Mom. Tristan, don't you... Uh, Clearly me being here is causing problems, so I'm gonna go ahead and go. Oh my gosh, you are not the problem. It's my son. He's going through some things. I'll call you later. I cannot believe your brother. I can't believe I told you that I didn't want to meet Natalie, and yet I met Natalie today. Oh, thank God no one's up. Tristan? Oh, hey, Mom. You didn't call me. I had to call you because I was worried sick. You canceled plans on me after we had made plans. I am so upset with you right now. Oh, so we're just not going to talk about the fact that you had Natalie over here when I told you I didn't want to meet her yet? I told you she was leaving. And if I had shown up here when she was here, then what, Mom? Tristan, it was an accident, so get over it. No, Mom, I'm so tired of you not listening to me. This is my home. She was having a rough day, so I invited her over and we lost track of time. On my birthday that you so desperately wanted to spend with me? I am done with your attitude. I know you just turned 18, but this is my house. We'll go by my rules. You're not going anywhere this weekend. You're right. I am 18 and this is your house. I'm packing up my things and I'm going to dad's. Here we go with the dramatics. I don't know where you get it from. <sighs> Tristan, where are you going? Did you not hear me when we had our fight? I'm going to dad's. And it's my weekend. No, you're not. Mom, I am 18. The whole my weekend, your weekend thing no longer applies to me. You know what, sweetie? Okay, if you want to go cool off at your dad's this weekend, that's fine. But I'll see you next weekend. No, you won't. See, you say that now, but I will see you next weekend. Mom, I have been telling you for months that something needs to change. You need a change. I know I need a change, but it's really hard to do that when all you do is make me angry. I'm done. I'm living with dad. Tristan, this is just your teenage hormones. I feel bad for leaving Amelia, but I'm leaving. I will call your father. Go on in ahead. He told me that once I turn 18, I can live with him full time. He did what? Yeah, mom. I'll see ya. That man.